Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on what's happening across Jamaica on this Thursday morning, June 27, 2024. As you can see, it's 4.41 a.m. and we're still talking about this very strong tropical wave that the Hurricane Center has tagged for a possible tropical cyclone development to the west of the island. And we can see that it definitely did a number on the island last night into early this morning we can see all the deep convection associated with it all the oranges the reds section of most parishes definitely gotten a some amount of thunderstorm activity as we can see here it's deeper convection on the infrared satellite images showing the blacks and even some whites and purples in there not to mention the sparkling white dots that we know represent some amount of lightning strikes if not lightning flashes and as of the latest infrared satellite images we still have some thunderstorms affecting sections of Clarendon, Manchester, even sections of St. Mary right there but we know when it comes to satellite images we can have cloud cover over an area and not necessarily rainfall this is why we need the Doppler radar images hopefully the Jamaican Doppler radar is fixed soon but if we take a look at the latest Cuban Doppler radar images we can see where it's actually raining we can see some greens across sections of Westmoreland sections of Manchester, Southern Clarendon, spilling into sections of St. Elizabeth soon. You can see some rainfall still coming into sections of St. Thomas. Some rainfall right there across sections of St. Mary and uh, Western Portland as well. And all of this was definitely predicted for tonight in uh, yesterday's video. So it was predicted for sections of the island, especially Eastern Jamaica on Wednesday night into Thursday morning and it's still predicted to affect section of some northern and western parishes during the afternoon but section of southern and eastern Jamaica could still be getting in on that rainfall we know our parishes right here pause have a look but as it relates to what happened last night we definitely saw that as early as 9 10 8 or 9 10 p.m. We had that rainfall coming into section of eastern Jamaica firstly. It's represented by the greens and the yellows that represent some light to moderate even heavy rainfall. Definitely affecting section of St. Thomas, Portland first, then St. Mary, and then spilling into section of Kingston, St. Catherine, and other areas as the night progressed. Then we saw exactly what took place with all of that thunderstorm activity. And we definitely have some comments coming in from some of our followers confirming the rainfall. Price right home store stating shores of blessing that was five hours ago. Shakira, a lot of heavy rain and wind in St. Thomas. Happy Jamaican. These events love month and must be some curse. You're right about that. Or in Barton, 1212. Raining with wind in Greater Port More right now. Even on our Facebook page, we had the comments coming in. Queen of Rap, breeze and rain in Wharton. It's so scary. Dixonbury, Exxon. A lot of breeze and rain in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. Dave Braham, well, really stay dry and warm. She chinley stating, Oi, now left the bridge because this no normal. I'm afraid to sleep. Shani Cassandra, it's raining here in Maypen, Clarendon. Even on our Instagram page, where the comments coming in, Shan underscore Didi stating, Rains and thunderstorm in Portland, underscore dot Nesh dot underscore stating, not a drop of rain in Kingston. Then Somebody said, talk too fast, murder, be a big breeze on rain. And then the commenter confirming, never mind, it's actually here. Then another person saying, exactly. I am case two stating, Portmore residents are happy. Rain in Portmore, thank God. With another comment coming in from T. Shaw. So that indeed confirms the rainfall for last night. As it relates to what's being expected uh, this morning let's take this forecast with a grain of salt especially considering that the tropical wave is trying to push off towards the west so i wouldn't be surprised if we get more sunshine than anything else we know these things go already but the supercomputer models are actually forecasting blues that represent rainfall for today so we see here the euro and the gfs are forecasting blues that represent rainfall across southern and eastern jamaica so maybe section of Manchester, Clarence, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Thomas, Portland, than anything else. And this is valid for 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 8 a.m. Jamaica time. But don't be 
confused if you actually see more sunshine than anything else it could be just some isolated showers it could be actual rainfall we just have to take these forecasts a grain of salt maybe it can happen even the afternoon it's still forecasting some rainfall across the island this is 4 p.m eastern standard time it's actually 3 p.m jamaica time today thursday and we still see some blues represent rainfall across section of the southern eastern and western portion of the island on the euro gfs has it across southern eastern western and the northern portion of the island at that time we'll see exactly what unfolds either way both accumulated precipitation forecast maps have most of the rainfall across the east where we see these reds up to one inch of rainfall on both maps for st thomas the most and if we actually take a look at the u.s national hurricane centers atlantic tropical discussion regarding the tropical wave that's affecting us it states here a central caribbean tropical wave invest al 94 l it's right here still having a code yellow and it's pushing off towards the west so it, we see that it has a 20 percent chance of development it states here a tropical wave over the west central caribbean sea is producing widespread but disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity while it moves rapidly westward at around 25 miles per hour Environmental conditions could become more conducive for some gradual development later this week over the Western Caribbean Sea or over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico during a weekend. And they've highlighted it. It still has a 20% chance, a low chance. But what they've stated here is that it's just west of Jamaica, southward across central Panama into the eastern Pacific. It is moving westward at 20 knots, aided by abundant moisture, abundant tropical moisture that is and a nearby upper level trough numerous shores and thunderstorms are scattered thunderstorms are occurring at water surrounding jamaica scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms are found farther south from 12 degrees north to 16 degrees west at 74 degrees west moderate to fresh east to east south east winds and five to seven foot seas are present at both areas in rampant environmental conditions could become more conducive for some gradual tropical development during this weekend over the western caribbean or the southwestern gulf of mexico basically reiterating what they stated here on the 70 graphical tropical weather only. but let us focus our attention on what's behind that system right here across the main development region yesterday we saw that this system had more of a medium chance a code orange now it has a high chance a code red is finally here and they've stated a tropical wave located several hundred miles southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands continues to produce disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity. Environmental conditions are forecast to be unusually conducive for late June across the central and western tropical Atlantic, and further development of this system is likely anticipated. A tropical depression or tropical storm is likely to form this weekend several hundred miles east of the Windward Islands while the system moves westward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. We see that it has a 40% chance of cyclone formation within the next two days, that's the next 48 hours, and that's 70% of cyclone formation within the next seven days. And if we actually take a look at what the supercomputer models are showing, so we're going to be focusing our attention on the timestamp right here at the top, and we're going to be, you know, focusing our attention on the precipitation that's expected, the greens, and possible yellows. So let's just go out to the next one, just 68 hours. So we see that we still have some rainfall coming into portions of Jamaica associated with that tropical wave on Thursday. Then as we go out in time, maybe some isolated showers on Saturday into Sunday. And then look at what is starting to come in from the right. We see the system right here. The L that represents an air flow pressure. The greens and the yellows that represent some amount of moisture. So it could do a number on section of the Windward Islands, Barbados, section of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, maybe St. Lucia as well, Grenada getting in on the action. And then it pushes westward and look where the Euro has it by the end of the 168 hours to the south of the island. But what does the GFS show? And we know that we have to be looking for consensus with what they show in general. So we see it right here passing to the same Windward Island. So Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, more so than St. Lucia, like what the Euro was showing. Then it pushes to the west, northwest, and look where it is located by the end of the 168 hours. By the end of the seven days, this is 0Z on Thursday, which is actually 7 p.m. on Wednesday. And look where the GFS has it. So we see the differences. 
the euro has it more south of jamaica by 7 pm on wednesday gfs has it across jamaica by that time and we notice that the gfs still has that little friend right there to the east of it you are not showing that so we're working with consensus we're working with 95 l this is what we're focusing on so maybe some kind of a tropical depression or tropical storm coming in to or near jamaica so let's work with both models we don't see the consensus as yet which is why we have to take these forecasts with a grain of salt so th both of these are the zero zero that came out midnight last night and uh, we're gonna get the six zero shortly that most persons who make morning videos are gonna be highlighting i'll be talking later on about either the 12 z or the 18 z run because we know these models are always coming out throughout the day and updating and changing the forecast either way we can see the thunderstorm activity associated with 95 l out in the main development region as we speak and we see that most of the models well has the system pushing west northwest closer to jamaica some of them even making it up to hurricane status in the yellow yellow that represents maybe 74 mile per hour winds or more even some oranges and reds in there that could represent up to 100 mile per hour winds if not major hurricane status and we see that numerous ensembles are in consensus with this not to mention the intensity look at these plots that show the system yes heading up to greens that represent tropical storm status but even up to hurricane status category one category two category three status with the wind speed we don't want to see this actually coming to fruition but we have to stay updated and we have to stay prepared for sure all right so i'll be back later on to give you an afternoon update that's it for today stay safe